Hi there, welcome to Getting Started on Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to learn how to do rectangles, ellipses, and polygons by drawing this dog. It's going to be really cool and really fun to work with you guys. We're also going to learn some other things during this class. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. So let's pretend that you drew something on the paper and you took a picture and you brought it here to Adobe Illustrator. Don't worry, I'm going to in the future teach you how to do that. For now, I want you to just watch this class and watch how I draw the dog and then try to do it yourself. We're using a file called Draw a Dog, Rectangle, Ellipse and Polygons. So let's do it. On the left side of your screen, you can see the toolbar. This is the initial tool that you can see on the toolbar. But if you choose another tool, like an ellipse tool, it will change the symbol. Remember, if you click and hold on the toolbar, you can see all the other options related to this bottom. So the rectangle tool has also rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, star tool, and flare tool in the advanced toolbar. If you have a basic toolbar, it will be a little bit different. Later on the course, I'm going to teach you as well as how to adapt the toolbar so that you can use only the options that you want to. But don't worry, we'll see it later on. Let's choose the rectangle tool. And we are going to draw the rectangle related to the body of the dog. To draw the rectangle, you have to click with the left mouse button in one point of the rectangle, hold the left mouse button, and then find the other corner of the rectangle. It will draw a rectangle for you. When you release the left mouse button, it will create a rectangle using the fill and the stroke that you last used in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to learn how to use the eyedropper as well. The eyedropper is this little button here. It's a tool that is used to catch other colors. In this file, I already left for you four colors to use in the dog. So the body will have this color here. The only thing you have to do is click on the eyedropper tool with the rectangle selected and then click on the color. If it didn't work for you, click on the selection tool, which is this black arrow here. Click on the rectangle, make sure it's selected and then click on the eyedropper tool and choose the color you want. If you want the green one, just click on the green one. If you want the black one, click on the black one. We want this one that has a fill color, which is a gradient and has also a stroke. Isn't that cool? Now let's make the legs of the dog. We're going to make rectangles as well. So you click on the rectangle, choose a point, click and hold, and then you mark the end point. It's easy. The V, how come this time it already chose the correct color of the dog? That's because it will choose the last color that you selected. So let's make the other options as well. Let's make this one, click and hold. Let's make this one as well, click and hold. And the last one, click and hold. This is just the getting started class. Don't worry, we're going to see much more during the course. Look what we have here. It's a polygon. I can make this polygon by using another tool in Adobe Illustrator. It's really easy, really cool. All you have to do is go to the rectangle tool, hold the bottom and choose the polygon tool. The V, the polygon tool has six corners and this doesn't have six corners. How can you do this? Don't worry, I'll show you. You click on the polygon tool and you click just once on the screen in the artboard. Look what's going to happen. It says radius and it says size. You can reduce or increase the number of sides that the polygon has. Depending on the number of sides, it means that it will have a specific number of corners. Let's put five, for example, and click OK. Look, 
It's easy. Piece of cake, right? I want you to use the selection tool. You can either type V to use the selection tool, or you can go to the toolbar and choose the black arrow. If you click on the black arrow, it means you have selected the selection tool. With the selection tool, you can move the object around the screen. Really easy. Also, with the object, you can increase the size and decrease the size. You can also do some things on the shapes, on a specific shape. For example, this one, you can make it rounded as well. Isn't that cool? I'm going to press Ctrl Z a few times to go back and return to the shape I wanted initially. If you're on a Mac, it will be a different command. It will be Command Z. You can also go to Edit and do Undo Move or Redo Scale. Okay? It's here, Ctrl Z, Shift, Ctrl Z. Undo and Redo. Now let's move the polygon to the right place. I'm going to click on the selection tool, click on the polygon, click and hold, and I'm going to put the polygon exactly where I want it. Look, it's easy. Really easy to build the dog. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy the polygon and put it here. I could, of course, click on the polygon tool and click anywhere on the screen and it will build one for me. But I want to teach you something else. You can use the selection tool, click on an object. In this case, it was on the polygon. And then you're going to press Ctrl C to copy. If you're on the Mac, it will be Command C. Usually on the applications, we use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. In this case, you can use Ctrl V, but I want you to do a Ctrl F or a Command F. Why? Because if you use the letter F, it means you're going to copy exactly above the initial object, Ctrl F now. This means we have two objects here. They're the same. If you move the top one, it means you have another one, the original one and the new one. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to return the ear to the same exact place, Ctrl Z. Now I'm going to teach you something else. It's really cool. You can move this object in the same line very easily. How? If you hold Shift. So first you have to click on the object and start tr and try to put it here. If you hold Shift, it will place exactly in the spot you wanted. It's really easy. By default configurations, the shift button can help you move the object in 45 degrees. Look, it's very easy using this. Now I released the left mouse button and then I'm going to release the shift button. Davi, there's something wrong. The ears supposed to be on the back. Why are they on the front? Don't worry. There's an easy command to put them back. You can click on the ear with the right bottom of the mouse. You can go to Arrange and Send to Back. Look, really easy. Let's do with the other one. Click on it, right bottom, and Arrange, Send to Back. Easy piece of cake. Now guys, pay attention. I'm going to talk about layers, but only briefly, okay? So if you go to Layers, that's this panel here we'll have three layers. We have the color layers, the template, which is the image that I brought, and the dog itself. We can have more layers if we, if we want, don't worry. And we can uh, rearrange also the objects here by clicking on the object and put it on front. I'm gonna do Ctrl Z now. I wanna draw the eye, but the eye is gonna be here above this rectangle, above the body, which means I can accidentally move the object which I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer just for the face, just for the eyes, the nose and the mouth. So let's go. How do you create a layer? Don't worry, we're going to talk about layers 
in details later on. Just click here on create new layer. And I'm gonna double click on it and write face. Because this layer is selected, all of the new objects that I'm gonna put on the artboard is going to go to this layer. So let's now draw an eye here. But before we start drawing, I want you to lock the dog. So I'm going to click here, unlock the dog. What does it mean? It means that you can't move the dog, the legs, the body, or the ear. You have to click on the face, which is the new layer, so that you can draw on the new layer. If you try to draw on a layer that is locked, you will not be able to. Illustrator doesn't allow you to do that. It's a functionality that will help you not to destroy something that you already created, which is our goal right now. I want to draw the face and not make a mess with my dog, okay? So let's go and draw the eye. I want to draw an eye, but before drawing the eye, I want to know exactly the place where I want to draw the eye. So I'm going to unlock the template, draw a dog, and I'm going to put it in front of the dog. In this way, I can draw the eyes, the nose and the mouth without making any flaws. And I'm going to lock it again, the template of the dog. Now let's draw the eyes, the ear and the mouth, okay? So for the mouth, it's just a slash. It's a line. So I'm going to click on the line here and draw a mouth. But look at the mouth. I can't draw it like this. Why? Because I have to select the layer which is not locked. So I'm clicking on the face again and now I'm going to be able to draw the line of the dog. Let's draw a rectangle here for the nose. I'm going to click and hold here, choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. And I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and choose this color. That's cool, very easy. I'm going to click on the selection tool and I'm going to draw the eyes. Now guys, pay attention. I want to zoom in and zoom out. One way to zoom in is using Ctrl plus and you will zoom in the screen. Another way to zoom in as well is using Alt and the scroll of your mouse. You can either zoom in or zoom out, holding Alt and using the scroll of your mouse. Very easy. Now that we have a zoom in mode, I'm going to use a circle to draw the eyes. Again, it's very easy. You click and hold on the rectangle tool and choose the ellipse tool. Look, the letter is L. I don't have to hold here if I remember the shortcuts. Click on the ellipse tool and let's draw an eye. You can either draw from one point of the eye, click and hold, or Another way to do it is to put in the center of the eye, click, hold, and then click on the Alt button. The center of the eye will be the place where it's going to start creating the circle. Very easy. I usually like to build only one eye and then making a copy and put it on the other side. So I'm going to click on with the selection tool and delete this one. And the other one, I'm going to zoom out and click on the eyedropper tool and click on the black. And now I'm going to zoom in again. You can also click on the selection tool to make the eye bigger. Look, I'm going to make a little bit bigger here and here as well. And then you can make another circle as well for the inside of the eye. I'm going to click on the ellipse tool, more or less here, and click on the alt button. Like this, and click on the selection tool to position it in, on a better place. For example, here. The view, both of the circles are black. Okay, don't worry. Zoom out. And you can use the eyedropper tool on the white color. And when you click on the selection tool, you can now see the eye. Remember, the inside of the eye 
had to be selected. Now guys, let's make a copy of this eye. I'm going to zoom in again. And I'm going to use the selection tool to select both eyes and make a copy. Control C. I'm going to Control V now, just to show you. Look, it positioned here. If I used Control F, it, it would be exactly above it. This time, I copied two objects, the larger circle and the internal circle. I'm going to click, hold both of them and leave it here, more or less. Yeah, I like it. Ah, let's make the eyebrow with a dash and the other one. Look, what happened to the eyebrow? Well, I didn't select any stroke, so let's go to properties and with the stroke, let's increase the stroke to six and select the selection tool, click on the other one. It's here, it's invisible, but you can use to increase the stroke to make it larger. That's nice. Now let's zoom out. Another cool thing is using the spacebar. If you press the spacebar, the mouse changes to a hand and you can move the artboard easily. Now let's go to layers. I'm going to put this layer in the bottom, but before I'm going to unlock it and put it down and unlock also the dog. Look, cool, easy, piece of cake. This was the Getting Started class. I hope you enjoyed it. We learned how to build rectangles, polygons, circles, lines. We also learned how to zoom in and zoom out. We also learned the space bar to move the artboard, to copy objects, multiple objects, and also to move the objects with the selection tool. Moving in a straight line, up, down, left, right, or in 45 degrees as well, by holding the shift button. It's really easy, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is it, and I'll see you in the next class.